Hey everyone, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this Moose End tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create your first mailing list in Moose End. Uh, so if you ever have, you, if you haven't seen my previous two videos and you're just getting started with a Moose End account, um, I recommend checking them out. Uh, one is just an overview of everything that's contained within the account, and the other is a walkthrough of the first step, which is uh, how to add a new from name and email address and how to authenticate your domain. And in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create your first email list. Uh, so this is going to be a very quick and simple tutorial uh, because as I mentioned before, uh, Moosend, in addition to being a really excellent free email marketing platform, uh, is very streamlined and easy to use. So there's not a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff that you have to do like there is with some email service providers. Instead, you just need to do the absolutely bare necessities and it uh, gets you going pretty quickly. So I'm just going to click on start now underneath create your first mailing list. And we'll just call this my list and hit save. And so now uh, I have a menu over here on the left side. We've got dashboard, members, batch actions, settings, custom fields, and segments. And I can edit the list name right here. And there's the mailing list ID right underneath of it, which uh, if I want to use the uh, Moose End API, which you do need if you want to send data to Moose End via webhook, um, then that comes in handy. And so right here, you can click on add member uh, or which is actually add members, I think. Um, okay, no, so this is just, this is where you can manually add one member at a time. I'm not gonna do that, but you would just put their information in and hit and check whether or not you have their consent and then hit create member. And if you go to the dashboard, you get your, uh, your statistics and everything for this list. We go to batch actions. This is where you can import uh, multiple members. So you can import via CSV, um, or which is like a spreadsheet or an Excel sheet. Uh, you can also uh, batch archive members, batch unsubscribe people, batch delete them, and copy them uh, to or from another mailing list. And then of course, uh, you can get into the settings. Um, you you want to set this up with your opt-in settings the way that you want it. Um, so you can actually set the page that they redirect to and they unsubscribe if you want. I just kind of usually leave this on the generic one because if someone's unsubscribing from my list, I don't really want to send them to my website. Um, I just want them to be unsubscribed and be happy about that. Um, but for the opt-in settings, make sure that you set the opt-in settings that you want. I always use this option, the strong double opt-in, which is uh, activate double opt-in for the list and only send to verify subscribers. So this means that it will only send to people who uh, get the initial email and click the link saying, yes, I want to sign up. Um, and that way you can make absolutely certain that uh, no one is using someone else's email and you know making you send emails off to some random person who doesn't expect to get them. Um, and then so right here, this is pretty nice actually. Uh, you can select the sender that you want and you can select, uh, you can enter a subject for uh, this email and then you can actually put the, in, uh, you can completely customize the, um, the email that goes out initially to ask them if they wanna sign up for the list, uh, which is really nice because a lot of uh, email marketing platforms don't let you customize this at all. And then of course here you can add custom fields um, and segments is kind of an advanced feature, which we will look at a little bit later. And that is basically how to create your first mailing list in a nutshell. Uh, like I said, it was pretty simple, it's pretty basic, um, but if you had never done it before, then it could be a little bit intimidating. So don't worry about that, just uh, go through the steps and you'll have it uh, all filled out and you'll be almost ready to go. So make sure you stay tuned for more videos like this one. I appreciate you watching and I will catch you in the next video. Take care.